Yo, welcome to this episode of, I guess this is Entrepreneur Life too. Yeah, um, series Entrepreneur Life. I might change it, I don't know, but Coach V here. Vince, this week has Coach. Uh, welcome to this vlog. I'm actually just gonna kinda show you guys a full day of eating today. Um, right now, I've just got up from prospecting and it's right now is 11.10 and I'm gonna go ahead and have my first cup or second hit of caffeine to keep my appetite suppressed. I'm gonna be kinda hungry. I've been chugging water, probably gonna keep chugging it, and then make my first cup of coffee. So keep the appetite suppressed. Rule number one. Yo, what up fam? Checked in in a little bit. We're just going over some strategy on how we're gonna do the um, coaching, not uh, fucking coaching, God damn it. The product releases and stuff for uh, VD Flex and Bay Boss. Um, I'm meeting up with a friend right now who's probably calling me. Get some ramen. It's currently 2.20, so I'm gonna, oh fuck. To go and uh, do that. So hang on, she's FaceTiming me. All right, so sorry about the interruption. Um, I had to update her on some, about the strategy. Uh, they're gonna go pick up Kufo, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna, I think we're gonna go get fucking ramen. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be the gameplay. Update you in a little bit. Oh, I made it. I'm going to fucking ramen. <laughs> on the vlog now. I forgot. I always forget. You were on this before too. Yeah. I just I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to shout you. Or no. No, I think I shouted you out. I have you on my Instagram now. I think I did. I don't know. I'm gonna shout him out again. Something about a perfect form. Yeah, some yeah. shit. But we're gonna go get ramen. The, there you go. I want everyone to see this gorgeous thing in front of me right now. And then also Kufo with that fucking egg. That's fucking badass. <laughs> Just had that ramen. I'd say, what do you rate that shit? Actually, well, maybe a seven. Really? Seven, yeah. I would say like an eight. It's pretty fucking good though. But we're going back to the fucking car. But, I like that. I think it's fucking good. All right, so listen to the audiobook, Think and Grow Rich. Almost done. I'm at the end of chapter seven. Dude, this book. If you don't read, please read. You're literally missing out on either eighty to men's entire lives that they put in books that are just resources for you to pick up at whatever pace you want, and you really should read if you don't. Um, but back from uh, getting lunch and. Um, we're just talking a lot about just like business um, going forward, uh, strategy planning, action, and what uh, Kufo, who's a friend I got lunch with, uh, what he's planning on doing with the rest of his school and um, getting a job. He's a chemical engineer, studying chemical engineering, so really smart dude. Um, got super into going to shows lately, which I went through, so I'm going to watch, make sure he doesn't like go too deep into it. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm going to go and watch some sales training edit another video and then I have a sales call with Moon in three hours. So that's the plan. Yo, it's currently the next day. What up fam? Um, dude, I'm reading this book about raising your testosterone naturally. Master T, shout out Christopher Walker, you're the dog man. And Ali Kapua. I haven't met you yet, but I plan to. Um, really interesting read. Uh, so if you didn't know, Testosterone is affected by a number of things. One of them being your overall body fat percentage. So when you have an increased body fat percentage and you're becoming more insulin resistant, one of the things that happens is you actually start to become insulin, uh, what is it? Your insulin sensitivity, so your body's response to glucose in your blood uh, goes down. It's not as responsive to it. Uh, what this does is it actually kind of one, decreases your nutrition partitioning, meaning that when you actually go to eat food, your body stops uh, using that glucose, um, especially in the um, red muscle fibers for uh, glucose synthesis, or protein synthesis. And when you muscle, we'll use that glucose to expend energy. Instead, it becomes, start storing it more in uh, your fat cells or epitocytes, which is very interesting for me. Um, 
because if, as you know, I've been skinny fat my, my whole life. Um, so changing that is one of the biggest things to do first, followed by then actually addressing the issue of getting your hormones back in balance. So once you lower your body fat percentage, you're actually regulating your luteinizing hormone as well as in the range of other hormones that have effect on your body fat. And it's just interesting as hell to think that that's true. So I'll do a passage. Let's see. Also, the video I'm going to make on intermittent fasting, I'm, it's, it's good. You should do it. Uh, so, when people think you're hungry in the morning, one, you're usually not, you're just dehydrated. Two, um, do the body's circadian rhythm and how it actually, your hormones and you just have this natural sleep cycle that kind of happens. You awake during the day as adenosine as well as a number of melatonin and other things in your brain build up. As the sun goes down, you start getting tired and then you're sleeping and then it goes up and you're awake. So, circadian rhythm. Um, anytime you naturally wake up, at a short, a short period after you wake up, your cortisol levels, like your natural stress hormone levels, are the highest. It's just how it goes. It's just part of the circadian rhythm. They do level off. Um, however, when you have a food intake, whether you're eating breakfast, um, I'm not a big breakfast person. I like breakfast food. I'm just not a big breakfast person. When you actually go and have that food intake, when your body already probably has, like, its glycogen stores filled from eating from the day before and, not, and sleeping, uh, you're actually going to have a, let's see how this is, insulin spike with food intake already with a high insulin sensitivity and high levels of circulating cortisol at the time of the day leads to a rapid drop in blood glucose shortly after consumption. So this is when, and I know this happens to a fucking lot of you, I've seen it happen to my own mother, and after they'll eat breakfast around, I don't know, 8, 9, around 11, 11.30, maybe even 12, you start getting really hungry, and that's because you have this uh, natural, really drastic blood, sh uh, blood sugar drop, because um, when you have that food intake and your glycogen is actually being overloaded because you already have this insulin insensitivity, your cortisol is naturally going to decrease, and as it naturally decreases with that food intake, your body's not going to be able to focus on digesting the food fast enough, and the, your free-flowing glucose in your blood is going to thin because obviously the food you just ate in your stomach still being digested. Um, so with that, you're actually going to think you're hungrier again, and you're going to eat more food on top of the food that's already in the stomach, and then as you start getting, you know, digested throughout the day, that blood glucose will go back up and think, oh, I'm not hungry anymore, but really you only needed that first meal because you already ate. Now, if you fast and don't eat and skip breakfast, breakfast, the social breakfast, really breakfast is just the first meal of the day, you not only ride out that natural cortisol spike and when it lowers without eating and taking any food, your blood sugar won't drop, and then you also have increase in testosterone, increase in hormonal health, so start fasting.